Hey guys, welcome or welcome back, it's Victoria. Today I have another braces video and I'll be showing you how I floss my teeth and all of the tools that I use to help make flossing braces easier. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Make sure you give this video a like, leave a comment about how your braces journey is going. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. All right guys, let's get into this video. All right guys, so the first product that I will be using today is the Oral-B Complete Satin Floss. If you guys know me, you know that this is my go-to floss. I really love this floss because it is so sleek and it easily goes through my um, contact between my teeth. Because I'm in my finishing wires and I have power chains on, my teeth are extremely tight. So this floss helps me get through without any struggle. It just glides right through the contacts of my teeth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you guys in so I can show you how I normally floss. I literally just take the floss and put it through underneath my wires and just floss like normal. So that's just how I normally floss. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go in and pay attention to what I'm doing right here. I'm going in on one surface side of my tooth and I'm hugging the floss around my tooth and pulling it up. So that's helping to pull up any plaque that's stuck in between my teeth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys again. And the reason why I say this is the correct way to floss your teeth is because um, I did my research on this and I also um, follow a orthodontist here on YouTube. His name is Dr. Greg and I will leave the link to his video down below. And he shows a great example on how you're supposed to floss your teeth. So I got this directly from him. All right guys, so I'm gonna go in with the gum easy through floss stutters next. And I'm going to show you guys how I was taught to floss my teeth with braces. On the back, you can see the directions on how to assemble your thread and the threader to begin to floss your teeth. And here's what it looks like. It's just a thin pointy little piece of plastic that has a loop on the end. So here I'm just gonna pull off about 12 to 18 inches of floss and then I'm going to thread that through the threader using the little loop that's on the end of the threader. And after that is done, you should have something that looks like this. It's just the threader with the floss on the other end of it. Once again, bringing you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and place the threader behind my wires and behind my power chains and pull it through. And the thread would also come through just like so and then I'm going to go ahead and take the threader off and then go ahead and floss my teeth like regular all right guys so now I'm going to show you a, a little hack that I've learned that I actually learned a little later on into my braces journey but nevertheless I am glad that I did learn this little hack so you what you're going to do is take the thread and tie it around the threader so that it creates a thread that does not have to keep getting re-looped back into the threader. I'm mad that I didn't know this. Um, I saw it on another YouTuber's video and I thought that that was the smartest thing ever because it also resembles the idea of super floss. So you don't have to keep threading the floss back into the threader because it's already attached onto the end of the threader. Smart. It's a smart, smart idea. But Here's a tip for you guys that you do not waste time threading your floss back into the threader and so you, you can brush your teeth and thread and floss your teeth a lot quicker. Okay guys, so next I'm going to go in with an even easier alternative. This is the Oral-B Super Floss and this floss basically has three different sections of a floss and it has a built-in threader and it also has a thicker section of thread for wider spaces in your teeth. Then it also has a thin section of thread for very small tight spaces in your teeth. So it comes in this little box that kind of looks like a tissue box and it allows you to pull out a single thread of floss. And this is exactly what I was talking about. This is the threader portion of the floss and here is the thicker portion of the floss. And I'm also gonna show you the thinner section of the floss here. Um, this 
product is ideal for braces of course bridges and wide spaces and or implants so there this is this product is very multi-use okay so once again i'm going to bring you guys in to show you how i use this product and i do like the fact that the threader portion of the product is very easy to go um in between my teeth and my brackets and wires and everything so the only thing that i do not like about this product is that the floss is very rigid um it's kind of rough and it's not as sleek as the um oral b satin floss so it does kind of give me problems um putting it in between my teeth like i said my teeth are very close together because i am in my finishing stages of my braces journey so um that may be because of that and it's just hard for me to kind of get it through but i do overall like the idea of this product i just don't like the fact that it's really hard for me to get them in between the contacts of my teeth just a reminder if you are enjoying this video go ahead and hit the like button Okay guys, so the next product that I use very often is the Gum Proxa Brush Go In Between Cleaners. And these brushes are so good. I really like these brushes. They come in uh, multiple different sizes. Um, I have the Ultra Tight because I am further along in my braces journey. I'm pretty much close to the end of my braces journey. So I have to get something that's a little more thin that can go in between my teeth. These proxy brushes are designed to go in between your teeth in those hard to reach areas to remove any plaque that's in between your teeth. And I really like this product because it's just like a mini toothbrush that goes in between your teeth and cleans out all of that bacteria and plaque that a toothbrush just can't do. I really like this product a lot because of how easy it is to use and the fact that I can take this on to go with me and put it in my purse or put it in my pocket even and use these out in public. Um, it's almost as if you're using like a toothpick but it has little bristles on the end so they're good to use like if you're going out and you're not going to be somewhere where you can brush your teeth after you eat your food. Um, I use these all the time and I love them. It's a very on the go quick type of product that you can use to clean out any type of um, plaque or food that's stuck in between your teeth. Okay guys and here are the three different sizes that I have. They go from ultra tight, tight to regular I believe and you can see the difference of how thick the bristles are on each one. Okay so the next product that I have are the gum soft picks. These are very similar to the Proxy brushes but they are more flexible. They're more um, plastics in a sense. They don't have any metal in them but they are used for the same reasons. As you can see on the back here are their uses and I also picked up the Equate brand which are the same thing but it's just a different brand. Um, it's like the Walmart brand and I I have to tell you guys that just don't even go with the Equate brand because while they are cheaper, they are exactly what you pay for. They are cheaper. They're not as strong and they don't hold up as good. I know they're plastic, but the same sense they're supposed to be able to get in between your teeth. And as I'll show you guys an example of what I mean, you'll see that the Equate brand does not um, easily go in between my teeth. They bend too much. They're too flimsy. Whereas the gum brand, it's more sturdy and it does go in between my teeth. And they're just they're just better so you know you pay more but you get better quality and as you can see with the gum brand I'm going through my teeth very easily very comfortably and they are flexible not flimsy there's a difference between flexibility and extreme flimsiness but what I did like about both is that they come in these easy go travel traveling cases so these cases help to keep them sanitized and you can also just have them separated from anything that you're putting in your pocket or in your purse okay guys so there are just two more flossing products that I want to mention in this video which are the platypus flossers and the water pig flossers unfortunately I did not get a chance to get my hand on any of the platypus flossers but I have used them before and I do like them they are very useful especially because they are specifically designed to make flossing with braces easier and you guys already know that the water pick water flosser is one of my go-to items that I love to use because it helps to get all of the food and plaque out of your teeth but I do like to use this product in conjunction with manually flossing my teeth and that is all the tools and tips I have for you guys for this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a like and I will see you guys in my next video bye